Hello everyone welcome to my channel UK Immigration and Visa Updates today we bring latest update regarding Lifting visa restrictions for foreign students could save UK universities Britain's universities watchdog has urged the government to lift visa restrictions on international students in a bid to save struggling institutions. Office for Students Interim Chairman Sir David Behan said increasing tuition fees and the easing of visa regulations could help revive embattled universities. He said all options should be on the table to fix the struggling sector and warn the golden age of higher education could be over. The number of international students applying to British universities has fallen. Nick Hillman, from the Higher Education Policy Institute think tank, told the national and international drop across the board has hit master's student numbers hardest, but it is having a notable effect on all overseas applications. More of Britain's universities feature among the world's top rank than any other country outside the US. It should be worrying then that their funding model is in crisis. Prime Minister Keir Starmer's Labour Party acknowledged as much in its recent campaign but stopped short of offering solutions. Doing nothing isn't an option. A report from the sector's regulator earlier this year noted that 40% of England's universities will operate at a deficit this academic year, with insolvencies likely for the first time to compete in an increasingly competitive global market. Some changes will be needed fast. The financial crunch results partly from the previous government's politically driven decision to reduce immigration figures by preventing most international graduate students from bringing family members with them, along with raising the salary threshold for work visas. A combination of fixes is needed. Labor should allow tuition fees to be set realistically to cover basic costs and to rise with inflation, while offering support for those least able to afford it. It should look for ways to ease visa restrictions while addressing potential abuses by conducting more audits, closing bogus programs, and requiring better data collection and reporting by universities to monitor compliance. It should also try to cut the costs and bureaucracy involved in obtaining visas for international faculty.